So today I'm going to be sharing Coco's bath time routine with you guys. First step is turning the thermostat up all the way to turn off the AC. Um, I don't like the air on when we wash her up because she shivers. And of course you have Diamond heading into the kitchen with me. Baby Dakota just turned 8 weeks old and here is a glimpse of all the hygiene products we've used on her thus far. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will share details on each of these products. And here goes the baby. And I'm going to get her undressed and get her ready for bath time. I do use the Four Moms tub. This is the same tub I use for my son. Um, I bought her a new one. They are two years um, apart in age. And his just got a little bit um, discolored and yellow from um, not being stored properly. So I did buy her a brand new one. But I did choose to repurchase the same one because I really did like this um, bathtub. So one of my favorite features, photo bomb. One of my favorite features is the thermostat. Once you turn it on, it keeps track of how hot the water is, so you never have to worry about burning your baby or the water being too cold. When it's blue, that means it's cold. And now it's green. When it's in green, it's in the perfect um, setting so that you know that your baby's like in the perfect comfort. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's pretty much perfect. And then when you turn it up too high, it goes red and it beeps. So you never have to worry about burning your baby. So we're going to turn it back down and get it to the perfect setting for Coco. So now that we have it in the perfect setting zone, I'm going to go ahead and put in the stopper. This is just going to make sure that the water fills up and flows into the area where she sits. I'm gonna get this is the Avino Baby Bath Treatment. It's really good for eczema, irritated skin, rashes, and so forth and so on. Um, she does have baby acne, so I usually will use this maybe once a week. And basically, I just pour the powder into the tub before I fill it up with water, and I just soak her in it, and it definitely calms her skin very well. So I start off bath time with a deep conditioning treatment and it's just extra virgin olive oil and I just massage it into her hair so that the entire time that she's bathing it can kind of sit in and soak before I rinse it out at the end of bath time. Her hair loves this oil. It activates her curls so well and I only put it in when she's in bath time, never any other time. Now I'm going to go ahead and detangle her hair with the comb that she got in the hospital. And I kind of just don't want to um, yank her hair, so I kind of guide the comb a little bit so that it doesn't snag any of the curls. She usually doesn't cry during this process, or she doesn't really cry at bath time at all. Um, only time she cries is if I put her in bath if she's hungry, or if the air is on and it's a little bit too cold. Sometimes she'll cry with her hair wash. And I only wash her hair once a week, and that's on Sunday nights. So I usually like her to soak in the bath for about 10 minutes. So sometimes I'll go ahead and clip her nails in the tub. She's just so easy going in the tub that it's easy to do all of her grooming inside the tub, whereas she gets a little bit fussy outside the tub. Mm -hmm. Singing and talking to your babies is fundamental, so we do it all the time. Now it's time to wash up after soaking. So this is the Aveeno Baby Wash, and this is a um, wash and a shampoo. I go ahead and get the rag a little bit wet, or a lot of bit wet. Put a nice, healthy, generous amount in the rag. There are two stoppers in this tub that allow the water to fill up when you want the baby to soak. So I went ahead and released those. Now I'm going to take and cover my pointer finger with the rag. And I kind of do a face treatment on her face. It looks like I'm being really abrasive, but honestly, I'm not. Um, I just want to work the soap into her skin. Honestly, I think this is what has been helping me to um, calm and get rid of the acne on her face. And I go around her ears and make sure I clean. And again, I just use one finger to get around there as best as possible. The neck gets super sweaty and crummy throughout the day, so I go around her chubby little neck and try to get in there and get all of the crumbs out. Now I just use the regular rag to wipe down her or um, wash her stomach, sit her up and wash her back really good. 
And like I said, she doesn't really cry. She allows me to wash her up. I get in her hands and, you know, make sure her fingernails and stuff get clean. Now she's getting a little irritated with me. I have to go around her little stomach and make sure I get in all the cracks and crevices. And I gave her her passy so that she doesn't get too fussy. She is a girl, so I have to get in those lady parts and kind of get a little invasive and just make sure she's as clean as possible. Having a handle on the sink does help to go ahead and rinse her body down and make sure I get all the soap off. And she doesn't mind at all. The water is nice and warm. So I take and like kind of cup my hand around her face to make sure that the water does not get in her eyes, her ears, her nose while I rinse um, her hair. And I just rinse that olive oil out. Now I take and clean the rag and kind of just wipe her face down and make sure all that soap is off because I don't really want to put too much water on her face directly. Now I take her um, dishwash soap. This is a baby formula dishwash soap and I kind of wash off her pacifiers. Um, make sure that you are washing your baby's pacifiers daily. Something that um, I didn't do with my son, but think about it. You wouldn't use the same cup or glass or plate or fork, you know, days and days without washing it. Now I'm taking the cream, the Aveeno baby cream, while she's still damp, and I'm going to put it all over her skin. She does not like um, baby massages like the, my son did, so it's okay for me to go ahead and moisturize her skin while she's still damp. This makes her skin feel so soft. I mean, her skin is already soft, but this makes her skin like butter. I mean, to the point that when I take her out of the tub, like she's so slippery like butter that you have to be careful that you don't drop her. Um, but I feel like this is the best way for the cream to absorb into the skin. And even once she gets out and she's dried off, the next morning her skin just feels so, so, so soft and good. So... Whenever you moisturize your baby's skin, do it while they're still damp, and it makes it, like, so, 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 so soft. And now she's a little bit annoyed with me, so it's time to get out of the tub. But first, I want to moisturize her back and her bottom as well. It's all done. And she didn't cry. I mean, she got a little fussy for one second, but she, like I said, she does not cry. And I kind of start to dry her off. Um, this is the texture of her hair. Again, that olive oil makes her curls... Um, pop even more and it makes it shiny and moisturized and healthy. Um, this is the length of her hair. She came out with really long hair. Um, it's really full. My son also came out with long hair and full hair, but hers is much fuller than his was. And it just feels moisturized and it feels healthy, but it doesn't feel um, sticky or anything like that. Oh my god, that's just my baby. She's so, so cute. Hi, Coco. I just love her. Usually I finish off um, her routine on her changing table, but for the sake of this video, I kind of went ahead and put her on the floor for you guys to see. Next, of course, I love the Aquaphor baby to load up on her diaper area. Again with that neck, sometimes if you forget to dry off the neck that water stores up in there and it is not pretty. So some nights she gets fussy at this point so I'll go ahead and put on her jammies and breastfeed and put her down for bed. But because she's still in a good mood I'm going to keep on until she's ready for bed. So now she is ready and I'll just go ahead and brush her hair. I did detangle it in the bathtub. But, you know, I just like to play in her hair and smooth it down. Kind of keep her up a little bit so that, you know, the longer I keep her up, the more she will, you know, or the longer she'll sleep. And I kind of lay her in between my legs like this when I want to, like, play in her hair detangle. That way she doesn't fall or roll. If that makes any sense. But I'm not squeezing her. And she's okay. And she's enjoying it. And I'm going to slip down them baby hairs. And she's still in a good mood and she's still up. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of tummy time. And she's going to play with her piano. 
Um, if she, ever she has an upset stomach, I'll go ahead and do like the bicycle motions with her legs and that kind of helps to alleviate any gas. flip her over for a little bit of tummy time and I just go until she fusses and I pick her up as soon as she fusses she actually started to doze off at tummy time so time for some milk and bed oh pretty oh pretty So I'm filming this segment first before I put her in the bath just so that I'll be able to do it without any interruptions because I usually put her down immediately after her bath. I wanted to really quickly run through everything that I am using and kind of give you a little story on each thing. So oils that I use on her hair, if you've ever seen her birth video or any pictures of her, you know she has a lot of hair. So the front of it gets dry. There's about two textures in her hair, so I tried coconut oil, and I don't know, I really like it, but she broke out really badly, and I think this was one of the things that contributed to it. So this is how I was storing it when I was using it on her, but um, I no longer use that. I've replaced that with my um, extra virgin olive oil. And I usually only use this at bath night because it is a heavy oil. And what I do is as soon as she gets into the bathtub, I will go ahead and put a generous amount in her hair. I'll proceed with her bath and then at the end I will rinse it out. Um, and then once a week I will wash her hair with shampoo. But other than that, I just use it on her hair during bath time and I rinse out the excess and towel dry it. So it's just not a heavy oil just sitting on top of her hair. And those are the only two hair products I've ever used on her hair. Um, along with hair, you guys have seen these products. These are the, the brush and combs that I purchased her from Amazon. I do have everything linked down below. Um, I use these brushes and combs um, every day. This is what I comb out her hair with because her hair is curly. Um, this is what I brush her hair with all the way around to kind of smooth it out. Um, if I brush her hair with this enough, it'll straighten back out which I'm not really interested in straightening it out, but I do brush her hair every day. And then I kind of give her a scalp massage with this, especially because she does have cradle caps. Um, so I kind of go in and this kind of massages the scalp a little bit. And it works to detangle um, sometimes, so I'll use this instead of using the comb. Um, this is a little bit dirty, forgive me, but this is the comb that um, she received or we received in the hospital. And it's really, really good. As you can see, it has stuff in there. Um, she has a really, really small case of cradle caps at the top center of her head. Um, so I was able to bring this comb back out and it does an amazing job at getting really close to her scalp and you know pulling out some of that cradle cap. The olive oil is also amazing for her cradle caps. Um, when I had stopped using the coconut oil on her hair at about maybe two weeks old, I wasn't using anything at all. I was just washing it once a week and not putting any product. And then as soon as I noticed the cradle caps maybe about at three weeks old um, is when I started to try the olive oil. And this worked amazing to get rid of it almost instantly. Within a week it went away and it never got really, really, really bad. Um, these are her clippers. Um, her and my toddler both have their own separate clippers. Um, no really big reason for that except for the fact that, you know, she's still small. Um, and I clip her nails once a week. Nail clipping or manicure Mondays is what my kids do. So every Monday I clip both of their nails, fingers and toes. That way I can keep track and remember when um, I last cut their nails. Um, nose aspirator. Usually you have the large aspirator. Um, I got a ton of these from the hospital. They just kept giving them to me. Um, this is the one that's normally used in the hospital. With my son, this is the one I had. But they had both. Um, the large size and the small size when I had her. So I got two of these. Um, you will never find an aspirator 
that works better than these or at least I haven't um, as of yet this one does work a lot better since she's still small um, but she has both I use this on her almost every night because um, she did have a little bit of a cold um, a few weeks ago so I just kind of make sure that all the boogers and stuff are out because it kind of gets snotty in there um, as far as diapering and preventing diaper rashes I use the Aquaphor baby on her diaper area um, it's very important to put it on before bed especially because she sleeps through the night now um, I, like, I like to load this up um, in her diaper area to make sure she doesn't get a rash um, I do alternate between this and the A and D um, and I kind of think this one works better and as you can see I'm almost out and I've already went through a whole tube of A and D as well because I do um, use these kind of ointments a lot So she does have really sensitive skin. Um, I've tried these two products on her. This is the Shea Moisture line. Um, I'll have it linked down below. But I like this on her skin. I don't think it did anything good or bad for her skin. But I kind of have not. I don't know. For, for some reason it's not my favorite. I'll revisit it in a while. But I have tried these on her skin once. And I'm not sure if I love them or not. This is what I tried on her when she first came home. This line is fairly new. And this is the dove baby line um i tried the tiptoe wash first and she got like small bumps on her so i never tried it again um i'm gonna hold on to it maybe when she's a little bit older and she no longer is so sensitive to everything maybe i'll try it again because dove is my favorite skincare line for bath products um but like i said she did bump a little up a little bit so i kind of pushed those to the side this is what I use with my son, the Honest brand um, body wash and shampoo. Sometimes we get the orange one, which is this one, and sometimes we get the purple one, which is more for, um, I believe it's lavender for bath or for nighttime. Um, this I used on her once, but again, this was during a time when her skin started to act up more and more. So, of course, I just went for the Old Faithful Aveeno. And this definitely worked best for her skin. Um, she did get a little bit of baby um, acne. Well, not a little bit. Actually, a lot. So, I, my husband picked this up for me from Target. And it comes in a box with four in it. And I just douse it into her bath. Um, and let her soak in it for like 10 minutes. And it definitely has calmed her skin a little bit. Um, it didn't do like a miracle job. But it definitely, in combination with all the products, did help. Um, so, now I only use these products on her and this is the Aveeno Baby wash and shampoo and then this is the Aveeno Baby eczema therapy cream so I wash her with this one and then as soon as she's done um, I kind of immediately put the baby um, cream on her while she's still in the tub and then like I said before I use this before I even wash her and just soak her for about five to ten minutes usually about five minutes is good enough to kind of help with her um, dry skin so I believe that is it. I also picked this up and this is the Shea Moisture Baby, um, what is this, Nighttime Soothing Shampoo and Bath Milk. I haven't tried this one on her quite yet. I'm kind of waiting for her skin to um, heal a little bit more before I try anything new. But because I have been a bit of a product junkie, I kind of wanted to share some of the products that we have tried or purchased. Let me know which ones are your favorite for your babies and your toddlers.